I'm doing some research, and and I would like to have your thoughts on this, please. All right, here, here, here. Hang on. Let me get this set up. Here goes. All right. Art. Okay, I, I'm going to use my own definition for what art is. You're going to have to come up with your own definition of what art even is. Um, certainly self-expression is a fine answer for what is art. Um, I, I'm going to say this about art. I'm going to say that art is an, an expression which the artist values. That's, that's the what I'm going to use. It's, it's something... It might be an idea. It might be something concrete, like, you know, something that, that actually exists in dimensionality, like a painting or something like that. Anyway, also that art is something that it, it goes into eyes or and ears. It could go into mouth. It can go into mind. I think probably that, that might be the, the, the most important component to this. And, and sometimes onto skin. Now, I heard someone say once upon a time that the foundational principles or ideas in art are music and architecture, and that everything kind of flows out of what those two main things are, okay? Um, probably because music is both uh, uh, temporal, it has a timeline, there's a start and a finish to music, but it also has simultaneously chordal structure and rhythmic structure that's going on at the same that is a different structural space than the time that it takes for a song to play okay architecture is sort of i've heard it described as frozen music there is an expression of expansion and contraction of the space that you're in and but the only thing that's different about architecture or one of the things that's different about architecture is there's no timeline in architecture you you know you don't really have a, a set time where you must go through a building. Anyway, I have been making notations about the exp the different ways that someone might compose something and be an expression which the artist values. And and of course there are the 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 mediums of drawing and painting and sculpting, those which are regularly associated with art, uh, the visual medium. But also performance. That goes back thousands of years. Most of these things go back thousands of years. But here's my question to you. If I were to try to put just put down all of the ideas, and, and maybe we'll aim this toward looking at perhaps a family tree of creativity and what goes with what. Maybe we'll think that way sometime. But what ideas am I missing? Okay. I believe curating is an art form. Uh, choosing things for other people's experience. That's an art. Um, storytelling. That's certainly an art form. My goodness. Um, really great movies have staying power. That's art. Um, and, and that's just one form of storytelling. You might be writing a story. You might be doing comics. Um, that's Comics would fall under drawing and writing and in the case of some people, um, engineering even. Um, what are your thoughts about the list of art? What are your thoughts about that? Martial arts. You don't think about it, but, but you know, you can use your... It's, it's not dissimilar from dancing and performance and ballet. Um, it's an art form where control of the self, control of the body manipulation of one's self and the practiced manipulation of one's self over and over to develop muscle memory. All of these things are skills. They can be learned, but also they can be used as a form of self-expression which the artist values. So, what should I add to this sheet? What do you think? Leave me a comment in the comment section below and, you know, we'll talk about this some more sometime. <laughs>